Well, hey everybody, it's Robert and you're watching the vlog and today I'm going to try to do something about some of these vines on this side of the house. So, uh, the ladder feels pretty sturdy, right? Right? Anyway, let's get up there and see if we can't clear some of this stuff off of the, uh, off the house in preparation to bring this tree down. We're not taking the tree down today, but it's coming down soon. All right. First of all, we're just going to go ahead and attack this vine right here. This one is causing me so much pain just getting this ladder situated on the side of the house here. Now this is English ivy, which I didn't realize these vines even grew this big. I sure didn't. Let's get them off the side of the house too here. See, in dropping this tree, with all these vines growing up inside of the house, my initial idea of letting the tree pull the vines down, well, some of these vines might just pull pieces of the house off. So we got to get them down. So let's get to work. Cody, you still back there? Let me know if I'm about to hit a tree. My left or your left? Alright, so I may have to widen the brush dumping off road just a little bit. Cody rode up here on the bed, so did you have fun? Yeah. And tailgate? You're lucky that tailgate didn't just fall off and the rust just uh, disintegrated from it.
tractor will get this. I know, I'll get it. I'll get it right now. Look at that. Just uprooted. Just full of stuff. <laughs> This ain't farm life, I don't know what it is. Alright guys, well that's going to close out this video today. As you can see, just a little bit of cleaning up still. That's what's going on. Now, I know some of you have been asking to see the barn, so that is going to be one of my next projects, is clearing out and uncovering the barn. There's so much to do here, and it's just going to be a long, time-consuming process. But that means plenty of videos for you guys to watch. Hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. By the way, I want to give a big shout-out to everybody that's donated to the Help Save the Birdhouse fund your donations are much appreciated i'm buying some lumber and i bought a bucket of tar to go on the roof so hopefully we can get that chimney squared away i was going to do a tarp but uh, i think i can get away with just actually doing it the right way and uh, using some tar and replacing some flashing so i really appreciate it guys it's definitely not possible without you and i just wanted to give you a big thank you it means a lot so don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you guys next time